here today with our 2014 Tesla Model S rocking the light harmonic aftermarket premium amplifier. And today we're going to show you how to install the fuse to accommodate the amplifier. So here we have our tools. We have a 10 millimeter deep socket and you got to make sure it's long. I either get an extender or right now we have it on a long driver. We also have some window pry bars. Uh, these are non-marring, they're great, love them. And you're also going to need some way to pull the fuse out. So we got some tweezers, you can also use some needle nose, something to really uh, grip it and pull it out. So to start off, we're going to remove this little stop for the hood. It just screws in. It's, uh, don't try to pull it out. Don't want to hurt the threads. You can take it out, put it aside. Next thing we're going to do is a seal around the glorious frunk, as it's called. So, just gently pull it out. Alright, once it's out, just lift it up and put it aside. Alright, so the next step in the process, we have these two body panels here and here. Uh, there's little plastic covers and they're held in by clips along the edges. So uh, you can just grab and pull. Just like anything else when you're trying to remove it, don't give too much force because you don't want to snap anything. I like to grab along this edge, gently lift up underneath. There it goes. And you can see it's got the clips along the side. And all they do is they meet up with little plastic clips along the body. Grab it and put it aside. Same goes for this one up top. Just held my clips along the side and find a nice point. Lift up. So you can see here, we have uh, two fuse boxes. Uh, they mostly just contain relays and other fuses. Um, the fuse box we're gonna get is on the other side of this uh, strut right here. You can see the mounting bracket for it. It's uh, in a very uh, unreachable place, but we're gonna get to it today. So next, take the fuse out, lift straight up, two clips on the side. In comes the air filter. And then there's this rubber plastic piece up top, and that's actually bonded to the windshield. So we're going to undo these three hooks right here. There's the little clips, and then we're going to lift up to get to the uh, air box, but make sure not to get a lot of force or peel. You don't want to damage the bond between the window and this piece. There we go. These are little just like this, lift up half the way, and then you can actually grab the whole thing and lift up. You don't want to pull all the way and remove this piece. All right, those three are out. So here we have the air box. There's two 10 millimeter bolts on either side, located in the same place. And there's two clips right on top, there and there. So we're gonna start by removing the bolts. All right, just careful not to drop them down there or uh, good luck getting them back. Second bolt's located in the same location on the other side. Alright, there's the second bolt. I like to grab a little pry tool and gently lift the clips. 
Okay. Allowed to be free. You just pull to the side. There it is. There's your two clips and your two bolts. You set it aside. All right. Now we uh, we have the cover removed already. We were working on the fuse earlier. The box looks just like this. There's two tabs on either side that you press on the top and lift up. They're the same exact style of box that these two are. And here's our little ATM style fuse. And we'll post the link in the description on what the exact location in the fuse box is, which spot. Right now we have it removed. So there's an open spot in the back right here towards the bar in the rear. And that's where we're going to stick our amp fuse. There you go. Slides into place. And we're done. To uh, follow, uh, put everything back together, just put the video in reverse.